interviewing when emotions become causes of disease three. The effect of each emotion on a relevant organ should not be interpreted too restric restrictively. There are passages from the Yellow Emperor's Classic that attribute to the effect of emotions to organs other than the ones just mentioned. For example, the spiritual axis in chapter 28 says, says, worry and pensiveness agitate the heart. The simple questions in chapter 39 says, sadness agitates the heart. The emotions, anger to liver, joy to the heart, worry to the lungs and spleen, pensiveness to the spleen, sadness to the lungs and heart, fear to the kidneys and shock to the kidneys and heart. Furthermore, all emotions, besides affecting the relevant organ directly, affect the heart indirectly because the heart houses the mind. It alone, being responsible for con consciousness and cognition, can recognize and feel the effect of emotional tension. Fei Bolshong, between 1800 to 1879, put it very clearly when he said, The seven emotions injure the five yin organs selectively, but they all affect the heart. Joy injures the heart. Anger injures the liver. The liver cannot recognize anger, but the heart can. Hence, it affects both liver and heart. Worry injures the lungs. The lungs cannot recognize it, but the heart can. Hence, it affects both lungs and heart. Pensiveness injures the spleen. The spleen cannot recognize it, but the heart can. Hence, it affects both spleen and heart. Yu Chang, in Principles of Medical Practice in 1658, says, Worry agitates the heart and has repercussions on the lungs. Pensiveness agitates the heart and has repercussions on the spleen. Anger agitates the heart and has repercussions on the liver. Fear agitates the heart and has repercussions on the kidneys. Therefore, all the five emotions, including joy, affect the heart. Chinese writing clearly bears, up, bears out the idea that all emotions affect the heart, as the characters for all seven emotions are based on the heart radical. Thank you for your attention.